G'day, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the eBay mannequin shoulder. So let's get started. Okay, so why do you need a hair mannequin shoulder? And the simple question is good photos. So the difference is so often on Instagram, you can tell when it is a mannequin, when it is just a head um, on a stick. And, and sometimes I'm going to be honest, it looks really silly. And I used to do that. And so when I first started out, I would grab toilet paper rolls and different things and try to make shoulders and put a robe over it. And to be honest, there wasn't many of them that looked somewhat remotely like a human being until I came across this hand mannequin shoulder. So this is what it looks like. It has a very pink sort of red undertone, um, which doesn't match a lot of my mannequins, but I'll show you how to get around that. Um, but it just has the knob to put the head in. I will say this is shocking for holding it in whereas it doesn't have the grooves. So I wouldn't style on it. I would just put it on once you've finished to do the photos. We've got a bit of definition in the back and in the front. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So you will have to excuse me. I have not done these mannequins here in so long. Um, but I thought there would be really good ones to show the cross comparison. So literally one style I've had in there for like four months. So guys, forgive me. But the first one I want to show is with these type of mannequins that have a straight down. As you can see here, the ratio makes her neck look really, really big. Um, and it doesn't quite join right. So that's somewhere we'll be going to need to have a thick sort of robe, something to cover that up and bring that looking down. Now the design that works best for this is the ones that sort of fan out and keep that rubber going down. The only problem is, as you can see, the skin tone could not be any further from each other. But as you can see there, they fit in quite well. So it's easier to have something that just covers the slight bit of the lip. So I'll quickly show you how I use these. So I'll start with my blonde one here. I simply just put it on top. And then you can grab a dress, a top, different things you just want for this particular type because the skin tone is so different. Unless you have a scarf or some sort of jewelry that you can put around to cover it. I typically just use a robe. Now, once you put it on and style it a bit, it makes it look a lot more human-like. Now, a trick I like to share is if you slightly turn it to the side but having it forward is actually a really flattering angle, but it also can just make her look a little bit more human-like. So for me, this is a great ratio. I'm going to insert some photos on the screen where I've done with this type of mannequin and how I've made them look relatively human-like. Okay, now for the one that has the straight down. <laughs> Excuse her hair. She's literally been just lying around. Curls from like four months ago. Somewhat kind of there. Okay, so we'll put her on, put the robe on, obviously with her head down, it's harder to see, but she looks very human-like. You can notice her arms don't, sometimes I put a top on and a few layers and it kind of puffs it out, but a lot of the times you're only wanting that top half bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clip her hair out of the way to show you how I would sort of make her look a bit more human-like. So the trick is here, it's pretty similar to the last one, but I'm just bringing this up higher. And as you can see, I'm sort of just pinching across here to give that diagonal downwards look instead of like a straight down and straight across. Um, if her hair was in like a bun or something, you know, it looks pretty realistic. Um, but obviously here, she has a down hairstyle. I'll insert some more pictures of just ones with this type of attachment um, on the mannequin and show you just how I made them look somewhat human-like. So what I want to quickly show you is a mannequin that I have that already has shoulders attached to it. So this one here, once again, haven't styled this in a while, but I'm going to insert some photos of what she looks like. Now to give you a price range, for the shoulders over there, they are $40, I believe. I'm going to put it up on the screen. This girl here comes all in one. It is very beautiful definition, I do have to say, and ears pierced, like she is beautiful. She cost me $600. Now, if you work out with a lot of the mannequins you have, I know for myself, I normally have spent on secondhand ones, um, 
or brand new ones really struggle to go over 100 or 150. The great thing is I have one pair of shoulders and I can make all of them into more expensive mannequins. Compared to buying a different color of each of these mannequins, I would probably go broke. So that is the big positive, is that you can make any mannequin look somewhat real. Now, I would like to say this mannequin here, besides the engraving there, I really don't like that. Um, it has really good definition. And I would say one of the downfalls is the undertone and also the definition of the shoulders that are $40. They just don't seem to match most mannequins and the definition probably could just have a bit more detail. However, there is nothing on the market similar to it. Um, and really it has boosted my Instagram so much more and my photos. I found that so often people don't know that it is a mannequin. Sometimes they do, um, but with different styles, I can really make it look as human-like as possible. And that is so important for just making your page look authentic. Now, if you are running an Instagram or on your website, you have different sort of hairstyles on it. You want future brides and future clients to be like, wow, this person does so many people, has so much experience. And as much like this person has had so much time that they've done so many styles on a mannequin. So it really can change the exact same style, but just with shoulders put on to shoulders not put on, can really change the idea of a client and change what they view of your whole company. So I hope you found this video helpful. I would definitely recommend getting these shoulders. Um, I have looked at seeing if I could 3D print them or make them myself with a different undertone, but that's something I'm still looking into. But at the moment, these are the only shoulders I can find. They are hard to get. They do sell out all the time, um, but I'll leave a link below to where I found them. And I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye.